amount of inertia and momentum into the weight that negates half the movement to the range of movement, yeah. then not having a cut, your ego lifting. But a little bit of a jerk sometimes. It helps you get that squeeze. Yeah, I mean, there's no way really of pushing a CNS or training to overload unless there's a little bit there to get it past the sticking point. Um, it's likewise with biceps. If you find all of this really heavy biceps, they can curl like a 50 kilo dumbbell, absolutely strict like that. Fair play, good to them. A lot of people who go to the bigger weights, they'll get that little bit of... That's not really doing huge amounts, but it's the city cunts who are like, fucking this. Yeah, fuck off. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say now to all you fucking bodybuilders out there. Your bodybuilders. You see that weight there? That weight is 30 kilos, or as we like to know it, a plate and a half. We're not power lifters. We don't include the weight of the bar. We don't include the weight of the collars. Fuck me, if you're actually counting the weight, you're a bit of a cunt really, aren't you? Excuse me? Excuse me? Say that again the first bit. Go on. Go on, say that again. Okay, rule 101 of bodybuilding. No such thing as you don't need a bigger anything.
that shit. See this? You see this? Lionheart Power Building. That's, go check them out on Instagram. See my boy, Iron Lion, okay? AKA Bobby Rundle. Motherfuckers done more for more people than anyone else I know. So that's a big out shout out to my boy Bobby. Lionheart Power Building out in the US. Hit them up on Instagram. If you don't, you're a cunt. Set it up in the feet and the legs. Hips, strong back, let's go. Good. One. Squeeze your back. Three. Four. Look at this. Fucking perfect. Six. Let's go. Is there. Yeah, the yeah. man be holding on to the gal them waist there. And look, look, look at him grinder up the back piece. <laughs> grinder up the back piece. Look at him. <laughs> Rule number one, and then, every hole's a goal. And, and then they floss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Tracy, count it for me. Eight. Eight, Good. Squeeze right into here. Good. Double down. Good. Stay in that back position, don't come forward. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. You bastard. You bastard. Pass out, let's go. Squeeze your back. Squeeze your back, let's go. One, good. Squeeze, good. Two. Squeeze, three, good. Use your back. Four. Good. Four. Five. Squeeze your back. Six. And again. It was so good with that fucking numbers all the time. Show me in the book somewhere it's like a fucking certain magic number exactly to fucking draw a bollocks. You see some of these powerlifters, they do threes and fives and they're fucking humongous. That's true. That's a fact. 15 reps can make you grow. 60 reps can make you grow. 150 reps can make you grow. Three reps can make you grow. Switch up, change up. Stop being a fucking sheep and following everyone's fucking bullshit. Everyone's trying to reinvent the wheel. Guess what? You can't reinvent what already works, you wankers. Oh, inch a workout. USP Labs, BCAAs. Universal EAAs. A little bit of an energy drink because I like the taste. Shit tons of water, a gram of vitamin C, and a good solid fucking pour in the vodka. Four, four, good. Five, four, six, seven. 
Why rack pulls as opposed to deadlifts? Okay, two reasons. One, me, because I'm a cripple. I'm not even joking. Um, I've got osteoporosis in my hip, so I can't actually ever pull off the floor again. But I can't squat them or anything. And um, when I, before I damaged my hip and my leg, my leg up, I was like stuck at five, five and a half legs on a deadlift because of all the damage that's in my spine. So that would eventually go through the weight here. Um, secondly, I will never ever tell anyone not to do deadlifts. I think it's an amazing fucking exercise. I'm a firm believer as a bodybuilder, be a strong bodybuilder. Um, yeah, everyone says you're more prone to wind and I'm probably a walking fucking example of that. But I've got this thing in my head, if you're walking around at fucking 208 pounds, then you should be able to fucking lift some piece of weight. It's just a thing in my head. And the other thing about it, if you're a bodybuilder, you don't actually really have to pull off the floor. So if you have problems, issues lifting off the floor, rack balls will work because the muscle building, what we want for bodybuilding, really starts in the latter part of the motion. The initial inertia coming off the floor, that's the strength and power. And that is a powerlifting thing, strongman thing. Yeah, if you can physically do it, do it. If you don't, you're a cunt really. You just been a pussy old. But if you physically can't do it, for whatever reason, be it range of motion is um, restricted, injuries, or whatever the fuck it is, then I'm a firm believer in don't use excuses to prevent yourself from uh, furthering your, your ability to grow your body. Okay. We're going to do all the sets, so one set will do over and under normal grip, and then the second set will go wide grip. There you go, she's got a couple of teeth. No chance for that. Snatch grip. 
Yeah, I'm supposed to do that, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I won't lie, it's something I'm actually relatively new to. Um, I never done, like, I stopped doing any of this shit, like, a long time ago, after I damaged myself. Here's yeah, one of the power issues are actually, uh, uh, said what I'm going to do to train that. Yes, but I'm saying, brother. So, um, they're going to make you do feeling very, very differently, so... I'm a big believer in do everything in your fucking work. I don't do one thing one week, another thing another week. I'll do everything. Again, it's something I believe in. If you're a bodybuilder and you're doing core powerlifting exercises and shit like that, this is the powerlifters. You know, if you're a powerlifter and you're trying to do individual sort of isolation work for your assistance exercises, listen to a bodybuilder. If you're a strong man, listen to all of us. You know what I mean? We can all learn from each other. I've learned to log lift and tire flip from strong men. I've learned originally to deadlift and squat when I could from powerlifters, like world champion powerlifters. Everyone, we all need to learn from each other. Everyone specializes in certain things. And if you're not willing to drop your fucking ego and listen and learn from each other, then do you know what? One, your performance is going to be impaired. Two, the amount of muscle you can put is going to be impaired. And three, you're just an egotistical cunt. You need to fuck out of the gym. Listen to people, listen and learn from each other. All this me, 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 me. It needs to fuck off. It's ruining the sport. It's ruining the sport of strong man, powerlifting, and even more. It's, it's ruining bodybuilding. All this egotistical bullshit. And you see it like even this weekend going to body power. Me, 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 me. That was easy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs>